Let's talk about teams. So in this session, once again, with my good friends Michael and Carsten, Thank we're going to talk more nice and cool <laughs> features within the meeting room. Exactly. So we should actually take a step back and not start with the meeting room. We have talked a little about uh, voice isolation, where you are recording your voice and so on. Yes, knows yes, it. yes, yes, yes. But um, we have come one step uh, ahead. Um, face recognition. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, the same way the we can do it thing now. police is doing? Or exactly, they yeah. everywhere now you <laughs> yeah. get caught on camera. No, like you can record your own uh, voice, you can also get a lot of pictures from your face from different angles and so on. It's, it's like yeah. when you're trying to get a face recognition on a mobile phone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But what that can do is that in some certified devices and rooms and so on, it can recognize you when you enter the room. So uh, that's really something I, I really find I, amazing as i mean you, you come into a room and it's it will yeah. split you up you know when you have to split up with the different people it'll just put yeah. your name on it instead yeah, of person one and person two now yeah is it, it will be cast ah. michael and, and, and Lars. yeah uh, i mean it's especially when we talk about co-pilot where people yeah. do use transcription instead of having meeting room a set that meeting room a <laughs> promised <laughs> but, yeah. but would it even though you will not be we just had something about Wilson's room, even though you'd not be hung out of the camera in your frame, etc. It would state that in the transcription. It's yep. Michael, it's yeah. Carsten, it's Lars speaking. So, yeah. yeah, so w when you have both the voice and uh, face recognition, it will recognize your voice for transcription. It will mm -hmm. find your face. So when you when you face framing you, <laughs> it will say Michael. Yeah. And the good thing is that you're talking about co-pilot. Yeah. Well, I put it the other way around. When you come in, let's say you're in a, in a huge corporate uh, environment, you don't know who you, you just know them by name and so on it's yeah. nice that you actually know who is saying it another yeah. thing is I've seen a lot of recordings and sometimes people would like to know what have this person been saying would you be able to see all the uh, rec if you record the meeting would you be able to see all the the, the uh, the metadata of who has been speaking, and you see that person speaking if you search on yeah. Michael based the, yeah. on the, the, the recording yeah. will be, of course, so, so when you're in a meeting and Lars yeah. is saying something, Lars will be showing up, and that picture will saying Lars, and that's the recording from. Yeah. It's not like you can, again, we don't have multiple streams. If nope. we had recorded multiple streams, then you can follow Lars the entire meeting. But that would be it, really yeah. boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it will follow the, the, the feed that you ha that Microsoft has sent in. So that's what. It but, but how do people enable this then? Because this is something that I know that we talked mm. about voice isolation. Yeah. We need to record, say, say a sentence to and get it into. We the had a bigger problem. The administrator needs to enable that functionality. Yeah. So yeah. that was big. I had a lot of coming back because yeah, I've been like heavily trying to get voice isolation out because I think it's a really really cool feature. Yeah. But a lot of companies said, well, I can't do it, no, because your uh, admin needs to do some power shielding. And not yeah. even a check mark <laughs> in, in the Teams Admin Center, but you need, need to do some power shielding. And from the beginning of next year, so far, what we know, Microsoft will add that as enabled, meaning that everybody can do it. You still have to go in on your computer and say, yeah, I want voice isolation. Yes, I want face recognition. Yeah. But it's not something that the administrator needs to open. Yeah, so the major change will be that it's enabled by default instead of having to have the... Yeah. <laughs> and it was not, to be honest, it wasn't really good described on what no. you needed to do. So in it case you made it, uh, it was you terrible. needed to some... It was for an intelligent speaker, yeah. for an able intelligent speaker that was a few brands in the market had a few speakers that could do it. Yeah. That was the guide where you enable it. So, but yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's really cool that we can do that. Yeah. And the thing is then, so, so let's say if you need to go and do it today, uh, the admins still need to open for it. They need to do some PowerShell scripting. And then each and every person would need to go to their own Teams client, do a short speak. That of is course. like five lines that you need to say. And then you need to do a face recognition, just yeah. like you do like <laughs> with the phone and everything. Probably not yeah. like the phone, more like the fingerprint where you need to do it 10 times. That's well, what it actually is that you, you, you're having a picture straight ahead and yeah. you take the pictures. Then there's an, a curve where you need to put your face like you where you're uh, trying to hit that one and take one picture from each side. And up yeah, and up. Yeah. So I think it's uh, nine please, pictures Please do like it that. alone. Yeah, <laughs> you look, you look <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then also one thing, and I think that we talked about that before, when you do the fo voice recognition, then don't use a headset which have intelligence on yeah. it. I think it's fine just to do it on the PC. I, when I did, I set it up for my tenant and I do it, did it on my account. I needed to just use my PC and sit in a quiet environment. 
and that the works NL fine. Mark, yeah. yeah, if you have one of the fancy one, let's face it, they have the best microphone, but you need to disable all intelligence in it. Yeah, it, it don't need to try to change something or remove some background noise and so on. No, just a regular no <laughs> bullshit. I was close <laughs> to saying microphone, <laughs> where it doesn't do anything on it. So this is the first time ever, and last one we, we recommend have. to use the yeah. microphone in the PC. <laughs> Not gonna happen anymore. Oh. But but a, a very interesting thing is that also needs to be aware of is that when you do this recording, it only works when you're inside your tenant, yeah. face recognition. You need to be part of the meeting, and it's not like if you're a 5,000 uh, user tenant that it knows everybody walking into the room. So when you do a, a meeting invite, to ah, say, we have okay. Michael and Larson okay, okay. with it. Yeah. Because that recording that we do, both voice and, and, and pictures, are and even stored in the question. tenant. <laughs> so yeah. Um, because I, I instantly thought about, okay, auditorium, what if the camera will catch <laughs> like the, the, the <laughs> first <laughs> 40 <laughs> persons, you would just have small dots, okay, they're attending, they're attending, they're attending. And yeah, it could no. be because they were invited yeah, all that into... There is a limit, I, I don't yeah. recall the limit, okay. but th there is yeah. some kind of limit. In it. Uh, yeah, but so yeah, for other people. I was just... <laughs> yeah. So an important thing to, re to remember is that it's always inside your own tenant. The data will not leave. Yeah. You can, if you have enabled voice and face recognition, you can go and delete it or you can go and update it. Yeah. Uh, and, and then ad again... Admin can delete it. You can see it on your team's profile as an admin. You can see it as a biometrics yeah. or profile that you can delete. Yeah, and I, even as a user, you can delete it. Yeah, and yourself. Yeah, yourself. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then again, you need to be invited to the, to the meeting to actually be recognized. Yeah. So it don't need to look into like tens of thousands of people and saying, ah, that sounds like Michael. No, it will yeah, look yeah. at only the voice profiles yeah, yeah. That, I that I invited. Then again, I have no idea how it works if you invite 500 people to no. a meeting and then you are three persons sitting the in funny the funny We need to do that. <laughs> they yeah. are all in turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then again, yeah. Microsoft also said something about that. It will even work outside of a team's rooms it will also work with bring your own device if you have yeah. the right license. Ah, and as I remember, okay. it needs to be a premium license to be recognized if you do it from bring your own ones. Uh, yeah, Can I can't remember. remember I license? can't remember if you need the premium or the device. Yeah. yeah. So what it is that you need a device license for your bring your own and you need a Teams premium for that PC. It makes sense that you need a premium license yeah. because Indeed. it takes some background power. Yeah. And yeah. you know, Every time Microsoft needs to do some GPU cycles in the back end, we need a, a license. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a, a cost, cost associated with it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and I yeah. think that makes perfectly sense. But from my point and what I hear from, from most customers, is that is like when they use Copilot yeah. for the transcription, yeah. that yeah. is yeah. a major thing that they're missing yeah. right yeah. now. And I think that's cool that we... That, that's actually the, the pusher for this functionality. But because could you just leave it with audio only or sh do you need to have the no, face no. recognition as well? You, you need the audio for the face recognition, but you can take the uh, audio without the face recognition. Yeah. It's a two-step thing. So you start going in in your Teams client on the settings, there's something called recognition. Yeah. And then you start with your voice. That's one yeah. part. And then below, uh, you have the uh, face recognition. Yeah. And that's but you don't two. need to have yeah. the face recognition, honestly. You need, you need voice recognition before you can do it yeah. because, I mean, you need more than just your face right now. You need yeah. your voice as well. Yeah. So. And with that said, the time is up. We'll <laughs> 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 yeah. um, short and concise. Uh, maybe not, but we are, tr we are trying our best. <laughs> Uh, this was Let's Talk About Teams with voice and face recognition. Uh, one of the new cool things that uh, will be auto-enabled, uh, hopefully not too far away. Uh, thank you so much for watching. See you out there. Bye. Bye.